Hey guys, how we doing today? Coming at you with another video. This today is March 2nd, so it'll be a EDC update for the month of March. I like to do a monthly just to kind of keep everything flowing, see if my EDC changes at all throughout the time. So let's get right down to it. Today on my wrist, I was carrying the Invicta 9650, I think it is. I'll put the exact uh, 9307. A. This is the uh, Quartz Movement. It's a good watch. I threw it on the Maritag band because the one it was on was rattling a little bit and I didn't like that. So, I put it on this Bond strap here and it's been working well for me while my monster's in the shop. Let's go ahead and put that back there. My lips today, I was using Burt's Bees, Chapstick, just something I had on me. It definitely helps. It's one of the best ones I've used. I was carrying my Zippo as well. Um... This video is also will also be a account update as well because there's a couple things I want to talk about. I can carry my Zippo as well. She's in the Zippo insert. I got a pipe lighter on the way or a pipe insert. I was carrying my keys, which have a Atwood G2 keyton on there. Two pry bars, slash screwdrivers, and bottle opener there. Keep it on an SB so I can quick pop it off. Same thing with my work keys. Got those on an SB and can quick pop those off as well. Yeah, my work keys are more than my home keys. Tell me how that makes sense. I just got those on a TYR lanyard. I got this from uh, from where I work. Just been carrying those. Also been carrying my own car keys as well. I've got these with a glow fob on it. That way at night if I drop my keys I can find them. I have these on a number 3 SB because these usually get clipped onto the first belt loop on the left side. And they hang there, and this glows all day, charges itself, and then at night, it's easy to find. And then, for, I've been carrying my same wallet, the Countycom LA wallet, in leather. I was, I tossed it up today, I was carrying the Streamlight Micro Stream, this is the one with the C4 LED. So this is the little brighter version, but still plenty bright for everyday tasks. It's got the bi-directional pocket clips, you can clip this onto your, uh, your your uh, ball cap and use that as a headlamp as well. Now for the thing that everyone wants to see, the knife. I've been carrying a case, trapper, a red bone. I have a review on this. If you want to go look it up, you're more than welcome to. This is the one with the red bone scales. Uh, trapper model with the clip point blade which you just saw and the spade blade. I'm a big fan of this knife. I can't wait for it to patina, which I actually forgot to mention in the video. I knew I was forgetting to say something, and my, my, my boy Ninja went ahead and uh, reminded me on that. Thank you for that. This is, he mentioned that this will patina over time because of the high carbon steel. You can also force one on there as well using uh, us and a and um, um, acidic acid such as uh, lemon, lime. Uh, some soda ash. Actually, no, you'd want to use uh, dry acid. Either dry acid or a muriatic acid if you wanted to go real hardcore real quick on it, but that might corrode it more than you need. You know, working at a pool supply store, I've got access to all kinds of shit that can corrode stuff. But you don't really want to corrode it, you just want to patina it. As you can tell, this is a very nice knife. I'm definitely a fan of it. Now, I did mention I was getting a pipe lighter for that, which brings me to my next EDC item which is not always on my person but it is nearby which is the Petersons. It is a Petersons here established 1965 Dublin. They came in this nice little velvety bag which is pretty cool of them. Uh, before I actually go ahead and show it, I'm gonna go ahead and give you this. St. Patty's Day 2012 Fishtail 01. Um, this is the price I paid for it, 110 at my local cigar shop. Just notice that guy on the back of the box. Now, this is the um, St. Paddy's Day version. They uh, they make these every year. Each year has a different one. This is the fishtail model, as by the flat part. And if you look here on the metal, it's um, it's got Petersons with the what's it called the uh, four leaf three leaf clover in March 12, 2012, which is St. Paddy's Day. It's got the P there on the stem for Pattersons. And it says St. Patrick's Day in the Wood. On the other side, is it is the 01 model. There is also an 02, which is this round, but then it gets very slim, and it's like this the whole way up. So, I usually got this nearby, and because I have this nearby, I usually have this on me. This is my uh, tri-tool. It's got your tamper, your cleaner, and the pick tool, which I hardly ever use. 
And that all just sits together. Apparently this is made in the Czech Republic. It works fine. I mean, if I really want, I could throw this on my keys there, but I just throw it in my pocket. Ooh. One thing I did forget is my pen. Recently I've been carrying the Parker Vector. It's a Parker Rollerball. Not a fan of how there's a, a gap between the, the body barrel here and the tip. But it still writes no problem, so I can't really complain about that too much. Especially because it writes phenomenally. I mean, it's a Parker, so this model has been around for years, so it's, they got to be doing something right. So, that there is my EDC half of the video. Now we go to an account update. So, account update would be this. Almost at 100 subs. I think I've got something like 99 right now. Not a big deal. Someone just texted me, of course. Always happens with a video. This pipe's been well used, by the way. I've been using it for the past couple days. I love it. And, um, anyways, so, almost at 100 subs, you know, it's astonishing that there's 100 people that actually want to listen to me ramble about stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention my phone, I got the, uh, HTC Incredible 2 OtterBox case. Um, so anyways, almost at 100 subs, amazing that 100 people want to hear me ramble, but I will be doing a contest when I hit 100. It might not be exactly at 100. Because, you know, just right now, funds are kind of low. I, you know, I work in the pool supply business, which I've mentioned before. So it's, you know, it's winter, so it's kind of slow. Of course, I hit the camera, too. But, you know, because it's slow, I don't have a lot of funds to go ahead and make a big contest. I do want to give some good stuff away. It's just a matter of i got to get the funds. And to do that, i got to wait until it's a little more busy, which will probably be like... Uh, late March, early April, when they got me working 40 hours a week again, because right now I'm only working about 26, and it's annoying as shit. So, once I get once I get the funds together, I'll be able to do a good contest giveaway. I'm planning to give away a couple good stuffs. Maybe a Zippo, maybe a knife. I got a couple things in mind. Just a matter of getting it all together. So, keep an eye out for that, guys. As far as everything else goes, you know, I've just been busy. I've been on a hiatus from YouTube, not because I've been trying to steer away from it, but just because I haven't had the, the, the I haven't had the uh, content to show. I mean, shit, if I had the content, I'd be on here every day making videos. But I just, you know, I just, I just haven't had the money to buy stuff. You know, I've had to take care of my car and a couple other things. Got my federal tax back, and that went into my car and a couple other things that I had to take care of. So, as much as I would like to make money off of YouTube and I will, well, not really make money off YouTube, but as much as I would like to go ahead and make a difference in, as far as knife reviews go, you know, I'm very small and small channel as it is, and I don't mind that. It lets me get more personal with my subscribers, I know what's going on and everything, so it is what it is in that sense, but at the same point in time, I would like to see a couple more subscribers, you know, just to go ahead and also had my mechanics gloves on, by the way, because it was a little chilly out, but not chilly enough for heavy leather gloves. But, you know, I would like to see a couple more subscribers, just because I would like to get word out that, you know, I'm here, I'm making reviews, I'm doing what I can, I like to put my own spin on stuff and try to make stuff a little more professional looking, so this video won't do it, this video won't be too professional looking, but, you know. It is what it is. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, I will be doing a contest giveaway soon. Just maybe not at exactly 100 subscribers. It all depends on you know when I get the funds available. There will, but there will be a contest. I can guarantee that. I can. Pro you know, I'll make that promise right now. There will be a contest. Just maybe not at 100. Once I have the funds, I'll be able to do the contest. All right, guys. I'll promise you that much. But as far as that, guys, that's about it. That's it for this guy. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Just remember, life's short. Stay sharp, and thank you for hanging around and listening to me ramble. As much as I hate to say it, it does help me with my no. Not really hate to say it, but it does help me with my starter quite a bit. So that's the main reason I actually made the channel in the first place, was to help me with my stutter. And then you know it just it took off a little bit. I got a couple subscribers and. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying the ride. So, that's about it for this one, guys. Stay sharp.